Now, if you remember, we looked at a couple of special cases when we were graphing systems of equations. I would like to look at those same cases when we are solving using substitution. When you graph equations and when you rewrite solve them in slope-intercept form and they end up having the same slope, you know that the lines are parallel and therefore those lines are never going to cross. They will never have a solution to the system because the system a solution is where the lines of the equations cross. Now, when you are solving with substitution, you can't see that they're parallel, and you, so you can't see that the lines cross or not. So, when you are solving using substitution, if the variable terms drop away and you get a false statement, something like 9 equals 16, which is wackadoodle, then you know there is no solution to this system those lines must be parallel. An example of this would be this system of equations. 5y equals negative 2x plus 14 and 2x plus 5y equals 9 halves. All right, so I know when I am solving a system that I have to rewrite one of the equations to solve for a variable. And since the top equation, all I have to do is divide everything by 5 to get y by itself. I think I am going to solve the top equation for y. So like I said, I'm just going to divide this, everything in this equation by 5. And that gives me y equals, and I'm not going to change these to decimals. I'm just going to leave them as fractions because I have a very cool calculator that's going to do these fractions for me. I don't have to be afraid of them. Uh, y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 14 fifths. Now I'm going to take this expression, which is y, and I'm going to substitute it in for y into my second equation. So that is going to give me 2x plus 5 times the expression negative 2 fifths x plus 14 fifths. Oh, sorry. And that whole thing is going to equal 9 halves. I can get my pen going here. Now, I need to solve this equation. So the very first thing I'm going to do is distribute. So I'm going to bring down my 2x because I'm not going to use it right now. 5 times negative 2 fifths is negative 2x plus, and I'm using my calculator to do this, 5 times 14 fifths is 14 equals 9 halves. Now I'm going to combine like terms. I've got 2x plus negative 2x. That gives me 0. But I'm not going to write that 0 down. They just kind of cancel each other out. And I get 14 equals 9 halves. Now if I cannot see that those two are not equal, I can change 9 halves into a mixed number and that's going to give me 4 and 1 half. Those are clearly not equal to each other. That's a wackadoodle answer. So there is no solution to this systems of e this system of equation. Um, my variables dropped out, and I got an answer that was false. Now, when we were graphing. We had a case that if we had two equations that when we rewrote them in slope-intercept form, their slopes and their y-intercepts were both the same, not just the slope, but the slope and the y-intercept were the same, then those were the same line. And therefore, there were infinitely many solutions to that system because no matter what I put in there, I'd get for x and y, I would get the same solution. Now, when we are solving using substitution, again, we can't see that that is the same line. So, when you are solving by substitution, if the variable terms go away and you get a true statement, 
something like 9 equals 9, then there are infinitely many solutions to the system. An example of this would be this system, where you have 4x plus 2y equals 8, and 12 equals 6x plus 3y. Now, just looking at that, you may not see that these are the exact same line. And I'm going to solve it using substitution. So I have to solve one of these for a variable. Well, they both have x and y terms that have coefficients, so uh, neither one of these is going to be easier to solve than the other. So I'm just going to rewrite this first one and solve it for y. And to do that, I have to get rid of this x term. I'm going to get 2y equals negative 4x plus 8, and I'm going to then divide everything by 2 to get rid of my 2. And I'm going to end up with y equals negative 2x plus 4. Now I have an expression which represents y, and I'm going to use it by putting it into my other equation. So that is going to give me 12 equals 16x plus 3 times the expression, which is y, negative 2x plus 4. And now I'm going to solve this by distributing. Oh, I don't know why I'm writing 16x. I don't know where I'm getting that. It's 6x. So let me fix that real quick before I go forward. There, that looks a little better. Okay, so I have 12 equals, I'm going to go ahead and write down my 6x, uh, plus 3 times negative 2x is negative 6x, uh, plus 3 times 4 is 12. Now I'm going to combine like terms, 6x plus negative 6x is 0, so those drop out, go away, I'm not going to write down 0, and I get 12 equals 12, which is a true statement. So therefore, there are infinitely many solutions to this system. and. If we rewrote both of the equations to solve for y, we would see that they not only have the same slope, but they have the same y-intercept. They are indeed the exact same lines. This should help you in solving the practice problems in Concept 39.